morning we are surrendered. This morning we are surrendered. This morning whatever is ours, we are going home with it in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has stolen, we are going home with it in the name of Jesus. joy, Lord. Fill us with peace. And I pray that none of us will be left behind. None of us will be left behind. When you are advancing, I have the ball and I'm intending to throw the ball to Brother Jeff at the back over there. And look what happens. When I'm throwing the ball, Brother Jeremy grabbed the ball. You see what happens? My intention was to throw it to Brother Jeff. But what happened? He intercepted. So Brother Jeremy intercepted the blessing that was supposed to be for Brother Jeff. Brother Jeremy intercepted the blessing that was supposed to be for Brother Jeff. So what that means, it means there are times that the Lord brings your blessing on your way. And if you do not, if you're not careful, if you're not attentive, if you have not positioned yourself well, there is somebody else that will come and grab it and land with it. Hallelujah. I pray that none of your blessing will be intercepted this year in Jesus' name. Let me tell you what interception is. Maybe you've been there. Interception, to be intercepted for your blessings, is when you start saying, I was almost there. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was almost there. You hear people talk about a certain business and how people make money out of it. And you say, oh God, I was almost there. I almost made a deal. And I back up the last minute. Ah, am I speaking to somebody? You hear people who have made big names. Or you see some people walking and a couple that has been married and they say, I did it that I was almost there. And then, well, it was taken away from me. You know, it has been somebody intercepted. I pray that none of you, none of your blessings will be intercepted. And there are so many people that every time you have a conversation with them, they always have a story to tell. That I was almost there. That was almost mine. I could have done this. I could have done this. You know, it was intercepted. But I pray in Jesus' name, 2023, None of your blessings will be intercepted in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And you see what happens when somebody intercepted the ball. Jeremy, when he intercepted the ball, he doesn't stay there. He intercepted and it comes against, he comes against you. So what was supposed to be your advantage, it becomes your disadvantage. Ah, am I talking to somebody? So you have to position yourself, child, because there are some things that God has given you as a point of your advantage. And if you do not work out for them, if you do not watch out, it can become your disadvantage. Yeah. Hallelujah. There are people who are so blessed. There are people who are so anointed. There are people that God has given you so much. And they become your advantage. And some of these people, you've been brought up in a good family. You've been brought up in a great environment. Everywhere that everything was made for you, for you to be able to study and become what you want. But that becomes a disadvantage because when you take it for granted, and you don't see it, when you don't see when you have mentors and people that surround you, the people that can make you great, it can become a disadvantage. But I pray that God will open somebody's eye on this Super Bowl Sunday, that you may see the advantage that God has given on your way. Mm 